I'm known as Sequest, <clears throat> and I am here today <clears throat> to tell you guys about office chairs. Again, that's right. Again. But oh no, we're not just going to talk about my report chair. We're going to talk about the history that I have had with office chairs. Okay? Now, this one right here, as you can see, I've actually had this chair. No, I actually have not. I have never had this chair, whatever it is. It was just a random picture of an office chair that I found. So why don't we get going? I will go in order, you know, from the newest, or I mean the oldest office chair to the newest that I have. And go from there. Now, it's a pretty random video. You know, if you guys don't like it, the fact that I keep talking about office chairs, there's an easy um, answer for that. Just don't watch the video. If you're interested in office chairs, by all means, watch the video. So anyway, let's get going. Starting with my first one that I ever had. So this is the first one that I ever had. Now this is not my picture. This is somebody else's picture and that you've seen in other videos. This was my mother's chair, which I've talked about when I was searching for one of my other uh, my other chairs. Uh, now the brand of this thingy, I'm not going to spend much time on these. Uh, I we I don't know really to be honest. It, it, it <coughs> I've heard Bentwood. I, I don't even know. I think from what I saw on the sticker on the bottom that I showed you in that one video. You know, it's probably, uh, uh, what, what, what is that brand? I don't even know. Office Star? Yeah, Office Star. Uh, might be an Office Star. It's really just a generic old office chair. I don't even know. Probably from Walmart. But anyway, I don't give a crap about this chair. Uh, you know, it's, it's weird looking. I mean, look at, look at this. L look at these arms. That's, that's like really old crap right there. That's like really old crap right there. And and the arms are wooden too. They can't even do anything. They're, they're, they can't even adjust. I don't even think you can. But you know, I did with what I could do and and just have the chair. But I, I didn't like it. I had it for years uh, until, you know, a certain time period. I had it from probably like 2006 to 2012 that I, well no I actually always used it because we had two computers and so I would, you know, use my beloved other chair for my main computer and then this one would be used for my second computer, you know, even though it was, it was pretty torn up near the end anyway. But I, I didn't, I didn't, <clears throat> near the end, I didn't really care about this chair anymore. It was just a piece of garbage to me. Anyway, um, let's get moving on. Now, this boy right here, now, you guys probably don't know much about this chair. Uh, let me just enlarge it a little bit. Okay, I've decided I'm not going to enlarge it. Anyway. You probably know, well, you probably don't know about this chair, but I had this chair for a while. Uh, you didn't really see it because it was kind of buried under garbage. But if you really look closely, you can see like a green. Sometimes you can see like a green thingy, like sticking out. And, uh, you know, and, or maybe you could see the wheels sticking out a little bit in, in some of my old videos. This is a main stage chair. Uh, just found this out very recently this is the brand of this chair didn't really care about this chair at all actually even worse than my mother's chair because you can see it doesn't have <clears throat> it doesn't even have any arms look at this I, I, I've heard this being called like a student chair but this is something that like I don't know like a homeless person would get and I'm not even being freaking mean to it um, this is not even an office chair. This is not even a chair. Look at this. If your office chair doesn't have freaking arms and the back is this shape, then it's not a freaking office chair. And it's not a student chair either. It's just a piece of crap, okay? My dad, I think my dad found it, you know, 
out in the freaking alleyway somewhere and he just decided, oh, let's get this, and he did, you know? But this is a piece of trash. I just used this to wait for the school bus. Um, that, that's all this chair was good for. Not even that. But, you know, I needed somewhere to sit, so why not use this piece of garbage? It's even worse than my mother's chair. Not even a lie. Um, it's a Walmart chair, so what do you expect? Anyway, um... And it was in this exact color, of course. I mean, you've seen it. You saw little bits of it, even if it was buried in garbage. But it was a, it, there was a reason why it was buried in garbage. Because it is a piece of garbage. Okay, let's move on. Wait a minute. You say I'm forgetting a chair? I skipped a chair? Well, let's get to that chair. Ah, uh, boys, you didn't think I would forget about my beloved chair now, would you? I skipped it on purpose. Saved it for last. Because it's definitely, oh and by the way, the piece, the piece of crap chair, uh, I, th I had it from, like, I think it was 2013 to, tw to 2014. But anyway, let's talk about my the chair that matters here. The chair that started it, well, it didn't start at all, but anyway, the best chair I've easily ever had and I'm sitting in right now. Not the exact chair, but you guys all know about this. I've stressed this out to the max, you know. Um... As you know, Steelcase is the best brand of office chair ever, beating out Herman Miller and and whatever else, whatever other freaking office chair brand. But Steelcase beats them all, and many people agree. Uh, it's a fight between Steelcase and Herman Miller, but Steelcase easily wins, obviously. Um, let's get an, a better picture of this, so, shall we? Unfortunately, it's not going to be the high bag version. Here's a better picture of uh, it. Unfortunately, like I just said, <clears throat> it's not the high bag version. Um, this is not my picture either, um, but I have taken pictures of it. Uh, as you know, this is a steel case report. Came out in 1994. Don't need to freaking uh, stress it. But let me talk about this chair. is beautiful, okay? Uh, the one that I'm sitting in right now and the high back of course that will always live in legend uh, it's beautiful the best chair ever the best I, I wish they wouldn't have uh, discontinued it really wouldn't uh, now let's talk about the armrest for a second I had this chair you know you all know about it uh, my dad got it from like an, a freaking liquidation sale or something in 2012 January 2012 had it all the way to August of 2014 had it for like freaking three years man uh, yeah it's, it's just a beautiful chair now something I haven't told you these freaking armrests right here um, they actually have a name I found out the steel case has multiple names but these ones right here, which were also on their uh, creation chair or whatever they're, they're called. I think it was the chair that came out after this. I think Rapport is like the first steel case chair like ever made. Like there were some other ones before it. But you know, this is the first actual ergonomic chair they made. Uh, I know they have older ones, but they're not ergonomic. Uh, but this one, this freaking uh, armrest right here is called a, a full moon armrest. Uh, and also they had a half moon, a half moon armrest, and also, uh, yeah, but the rapport had both the full moon armrest, the half moon, the half moon armrest, and also, uh, the armrest that I'm about to show you. Now, we're talking about this armrest, um, now, I, I, I think mo uh, models of this chair came with you know height width and some with pivot too but remember how I said I didn't really know what these were I just I think these I think these now I just think these are uh, um, the original uh, rapport armrests like the original ones that came with it because I know only these these can only go in and out and some of them could probably pivot and I'm going to edit these together so I'm not going to be cut off but anyway, uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll just continue here. Uh, 
uh, when this video ends and I'll edit it together. I know it's really sloppy, but whatever, man. Anyway, uh, edited together now. Um, I, I just think these are, uh, I think these are the original armrests that came with the rapport because uh, when I, I found out who created this chair, who came up with the design of it, his name is David Hodge, you know, and God bless that guy, you know, uh, he's an angel that came up with this idea, best design ever for an office chair, best chair hands down anyway. Um, but I, I, I looked on his website, which is Hodge, hodgearts.com or whatever, I don't remember, but he had the rapport on it, of course, of course, documenting his beautiful work. And the most of the most of the uh, pictures that had it, <clears throat> most of the pictures had the uh, original or these armrests here. So um, I'm I think these are the original ones, uh, the ones that came with the rapport. But you could also get you know the full moon and the half moon. But these are the original ones that came with it, which would probably make sense because I think this, like I said, is uh, steel cases first ergonomic chair uh, so I mean it would kind of make sense that their later office chairs would have different you know um, armrests than this because these are some wacky armrests I'm not even gonna lie uh, but I, I I haven't seen these armrests on any other steel case chair I mean I've seen variations of them but they're a lot skinnier uh, and, and not this bulky but I do think that these are just, uh, and by the way, this is a different color chair. This is just black. Uh, I have a lot of rapport pictures, actually. Uh, but yeah, different colors and stuff. Uh, but yeah, these are probably just the original armors. Uh, I did tear them off, and I did kind of mess with my, uh, my old high back. Um, but I, I do love it actually at the end of the day uh, you know I didn't really mess it up really bad the armrest probably could have been uh, replaced you know or put back to put back on you know I don't really know because I didn't tear off the arm plates I just took the arm pads off I kind of tore it up on the, uh, the, the like the top of the panel or the top of the chair kind of was a little bit messed up up there but not too bad you know I mean you could kind of see this through the through the videos kind of deteriorating in quality but not too bad not like my mom's chair did uh, so this is a uh, my high back will live in legend and you know if I would have gotten any other report chair that was in a different color than burgundy I would have loved it anyway uh, you know there was a listing on eBay long ago that even said, you know, like like a very inviting spirit. I don't know, whatever. I'm kind of going off, but anyway, you know, beautiful chair, best chair I've ever had, best chair I ever will have, and best th best chair that I still do have right now. You know, uh, made a review on it, everything. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Made my high back live in legend. Uh, you know, uh, and there was a, even a picture on his website that had all burgundy chairs in it, burgundy rapports, you know, ones with upholstered freaking backs and stuff, you know, my original was a high back, had the original, uh, had the original armrests on it. Um, and also a upholstered back not that's not a freaking uh, not a freaking plastic back on it you know the black stuff but it's uh, pretty much it I and it probably had every single freaking uh, feature that this one that I'm sitting in right now does including the seat pan and yeah except for the pivot arms I, I'm pretty sure they couldn't pivot um, but you know, and these ones can't either, but it's all right. Uh, as long as I have a rapport, I'm gonna be happy. As long as it's not black, uh, I would take green. I would take blue. Uh, you know, any other color than black. 
Yeah. But black's just such a generic color, it's not even funny. Anyway, that's pretty much it. I'm not going to lose this one like I lost my other one. Didn't even want to lose my original high back version. But, you know, thought things happened. So, yeah. Uh, one more story before I get out of here. Let's switch back to my beautiful burgundy one. Non-high back version. Oh, w real quick before I do. Look at this one. I feel sorry for this one. Do you see the pattern on this one? Look at this. I found this on Craigslist, man. I feel sorry for anybody who has a sin in this. But at least it's freaking creative. I will give it that. It's not black, and that's all that matters. But still. Anyway, back to my burgundy one. Not my original, though. Uh, so I'm not going to be talking about this chair anymore. Because you guys already have heard enough about it, and I'm sure you're freaking... Uh, uh, you know, you've heard enough about it, but I don't give a crap. I'll talk about my chair all I want. Anyway, t uh, while I'm reminiscing on my memories from my home, I might as well talk about my dad had found a freaking, one time, I think it was in 2014, uh, or even 2013, I don't even remember, he had found like two boxes or two or three boxes of like VHS freaking tapes. Um, and one of them had, and then <clears throat> there was like a letter on top of it, on top of the VHSs, and I don't even remember what it was. It was like some important letter that this guy got, you know. And my dad had found them like out in the all in a in a freaking alleyway, uh, you know, and they were just abandoned, you know. And he just got them for me because he knows I like blank VHSs that people record on. Because I had a lot of those. But, uh... One of them had, like, an, a, a Winter Olympics game on it. I think it was, like, from the 80s or the 90s. I'm sure you could probably just find out what it was by looking at Winter Olympics 90s. Uh... But, yeah, one of them... One of the tapes had... I barely got through any of them. There were a lot of them. Before I moved out of my beloved home. But... Yeah. Uh... One of them had... A school board meeting on them on it uh, a school board meeting I thought that was pretty funny I think some of them had cooking shows on it on them uh, yeah so I don't know why that guy just up and left his VHS's because I got them and I'm sure they're probably in the dump somewhere right now just like my old uh, uh, high back version of rapport is so you know whatever but uh, I am just getting over a cold so don't tell me about this uh, whatever uh, uh, so that's why I sound different probably in this freaking video I don't even care uh, but yeah I, I wish I would have taken a lot more stuff with me from my home but I didn't and you know I talked about it enough there's not really much else for me to say but this, the main topic of this video was the history of my chairs. And you know, I'll make uh, however many other videos I need to make on my report chair. I don't give a crap. You know, if you guys don't want to see it, then don't watch the video. But I'm just happy to have something back that I once had. Even if it's not the exact same. Um, my dad had gotten it for me and that's one of the reasons why I like my report so much. Uh, you know. But it's not just a chair to me, you know. It's something that he got me as a gift because he knows he knew my mom's chair was getting out of, you know, the quality was getting bad. So he decided to get me a new office chair, and, and that's one of the reasons actually that I really care about this chair as much as I do. Uh, so if you guys don't like it and don't watch videos, you know, whatever. But I'll I'll talk about this chair as much as I want. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Editing is these together. Probably going to put it up tomorrow. I don't even know. I mean tomorrow as in today. Or maybe I'll put it up today. I, I don't even know. Uh, so. I mean if you watch this tomorrow. Then just know today was the 18th. And I'm going to put this up on the 19th. But if I decide otherwise. It will go up on the 18th. Um, whatever. Uh, that's it. 
uh, goodbye and may my original high back uh, rest in peace and in legend and I love my report.